Oh, hi, it's Susie again from Esoteric Trading Solutions. Just want to go over the price action tonight with Bitcoin. Um, it's well over 5,000, 5,144 as I speak. When I was writing this up, it was 5,190. Massive move up um, about 7.5%. Koreans are buying and so are the Japanese buying. Um, uh, look, probably a combination of things. Obviously, the hard fork coming in. Um, uh, estimated time is the 25th of October 2017. The hard fork being Bitcoin Gold. Um, the story is if you hold Bitcoin at the moment up until the 25th of October, you'll get um, one to one ratio of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Gold. Um, that's the story at the moment. No one knows the value of the Bitcoin Gold, but yeah, you're actually getting something for free, which is which is awesome. Um, it's really hard to know um, what what the value of that go that Bitcoin Gold token is going to be. Uh, so this may time that is a hard fork on the 25th of the 10th, 2017, next week sometime, or yeah, well, the next week. Um, also another, another thing too with Chinese crackdown on cryptocurrency exchanges and the like, the slack's been picked up by the Koreans and the Japanese. The Japanese basically, I don't know whether you remember, but in September they legalized living crypto exchanges um, under the fi Financial Services Act. And essentially, uh, now they've ratified, you know, cryptocurrency. So the Japanese and the Koreans are big buyers of crypto, uh, crypto uh, currency, and uh, also Bitcoin. They have ATMs and everything else. So people are obviously buying Bitcoin due to the free uh, Bitcoin gold. So if you have a look at the exchanges today, um, you'll see just going down very quickly. So I'm talking fairly quickly. You'll see Bitcoin um, Japan's done quite a bit. Um, you know, quite a bit of volume there, just there, 102587000. Bitcoin uh, Korean One has also done a lot. And, um, you know, today has been a massive volume of 1.63 billion, which is incredible. Just want to also point out the Koreans, uh, if you can just see that, the Koreans, where my little pointer is, are actually buying Bitcoin at a premium, 5183.79. Bitcoin US was at 5130 and yen against yen when you convert it, it's 5022.62. So that's really interesting. The, pre, the, the Koreans are actually buying against the one, but when you convert it, they're buying it at a premium. So it looks like they're desperate to get the uh, the Bitcoin uh, to actually to actually get the Bitcoin gold when the heart forks done on the 25th. Of, of this month. Uh, that's the estimated time of the hard fork. Um, if you remember last time when they did their last hard fork, it was with Bit Bitcoin Cash and that thing got up to about $900, 900 bucks. and um, I can't remember what it was when they did the hard fork and how much Bitcoin was, but you can check that out. got up to 900 but it's obviously just steadily come down, 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 down. And you know, down to 300. I think it was trading a range of 750 to 350. So it's not not a bad deal when you get something for nothing. But again, Gen and One dominators have, have taken up the slack after the Chinese authorities have clamped down on on cryptocurrency. So look, I do think at the moment this has really been bit up, and I think you know I've got a target maybe 5,300 on uh, Bitcoin at the moment. But I, I'm looking to be a seller here because I think it's gone up a lot. Uh, you might probably get it, you know, still strong up until the 25th, but, you know, I think you've got to start thinking about selling around those sort of levels, definitely. Uh, just, uh, yeah, have a look at the chart there. You know, it, it really has moved up very fast, uh, just in, in a matter of days. Just very quickly, Ethereum as well. There's a hard fall for Ethereum uh, next week. I'm not quite sure of the date of that one. I'm going to have to check that. Ethereum have done four or five hard forks, but they didn't actually bring out a coin. Uh, they did bring out a coin, obviously, just the one coin, that was Ethereum Classic, and that hasn't done really that well, actually, the Ethereum Classic. Uh, I think uh, there was the story that uh, some of the miners didn't like the fact that, you know, the blockchain, uh, you know, they reversed the blockchain because the blockchain itself had been hacked and they had to give the investors back some money, so... Uh, apparently miners don't like that, but but with the um, with the metropolis, which is going to be Ethereum's uh, upgrade, apparently the transaction speed is going to go up quite quite nicely, like quite a lot. I'm not quite, quite sure how much, but the miners aren't going to be too happy because the rewards for the miners are actually going to be reduced from five Ethereum per block to about three Ethereum per block. So I think that's why Ethereum hasn't been looking very strong lately to me. Uh, you know, Ethereum's been trading a range of about 298 to about 307. So I'm not really, really that happy with uh, Ethereum the way it's trading at the moment. So it looks a bit soggy to me, more like a sell at the moment. So that's all I wanted to say. Thanks very much, and uh, I hope this helps. Cheers.